so the question over here is patient on a dental chair during extraction becomes unconscious patient is breathing but not responsive your first step will be options are one recline the chair and shout for help and give oxygen two check the blood pressure pulse and intubate three starts cardiopulmonary resuscitation immediately and four check the ecg so the symptom that the patient or the sign and symptoms that the patient over here is presenting with is classical of syncope as we all know syncope is by far one of the most common medical emergencies that we encounter in the dental chair or a dental practice most patients are anxious for for any dental procedure and because of their anxiety the stress hormones that are released are quite large in such patients in addition to that when you make the patient sit on the dental chair there is less blood that is being delivered to the head and as a result of this or the brain rather as a result of this the patient is suffering from hypoxia and the patient reaches a state of transient unconsciousness in such cases the first step that you would do is give the patient ammonia ammonia is basically a respiratory stimulant and it has a very pungent odor on breathing the patient will be able to uh, reach some level of consciousness as soon as this is done you recline the chair and you make the patient go into what is called as the trendelenburg position what is this trendelenburg position is that In this position, what happens is you take the head below the level of the legs. So there is increased venous return to the heart and as a result, there is also blood that is being forced into the brain. So, this is the same concept that we use even in Chilshasan because there is increased blood flow to the brain. As a result of which, the patient is able to gain back consciousness as there is blood flow carrying the oxygen to the brain. In addition to that, when a patient has been reported with syncope, that means the patient is reaching a stage where he is unable to breathe or he is unable to maintain his level of oxygen levels in the blood. That is why you give the patient oxygen and this is usually done either through a cannula or you use a venturi mask, that is the venti mask that is available. You use this as after the Trendelenburg position that is you use oxygen and you deliver oxygen to the patient so that there is 100% oxygen delivered to the patient and the, there is exchange of gases and all the tissues in the brain are completely oxygenated and they receive enough oxygenated blood. Now when it comes to eliminating the other options check the blood pressure pulse and intubate when you are going to be checking the pulse what will happen is you are wasting time. Second is when you check the blood pressure, you are creating some amount of pressure on the arms and already the patient is not receiving blood to the upper half of the body. So if you check the blood pressure, you are further compromising that situation over here. That is the reason why you do not check the blood pressure. So that is why this answer is ruled out. Second is starting CPR immediately. In usually in patients who have syncope over here, the, it is mentioned that the patient is breathing but is not responsive. Since the patient is breathing, you do not need to start a CPR immediately. First, you need to identify what is the problem with the patient, the basic problem. Since CPR is usually done in patients who probably are having a heart attack or who are going to be going into myocardial infarction. Since the patient over here, there is no history given and we also are aware that it's a simple procedure. It could be mentioned, it could be understood that the patient is undergoing a syncopal attack. Lastly, when you have an ECG, ECG again is always done in patients who have some heart related problem. It could be either arrhythmias or it could be any form of contraction problems. So that is the reason why ECG can is also ruled out over here. Now, a few additional points. This is how, how the venturi mask looks. This is the venti mask. You place it in the patient's nose and you cover it to ensure that there is an adequate seal that is formed between the nose and the chin so that there is no escape of air from the outline of the mask that is over here. There should be no escape of air so that there is 100% oxygen delivered to the patient. Now, a few other positions that we need to remember is this is the 
position that you use for pregnant women wherein you place a pillow below the right hip so that the entire uh, body of the pregnant woman is tilted a little towards the left why is this is because usually in the normal position the you the infant which is present in the uterus exerts pressure into the aorta as well as the inferior vena cava because of this there is less blood that can be delivered to the patient as a result the patient can go into syncope and that's why what you do is once you place it below the right hip and the patient goes into a left position there is pressure that is relieved from both the inferior the infant's pressure that is the pressure of the uterus onto the inferior vena cava as well as the aorta is drastically reduced and there is exchange of gases and good blood supply and that is the reason why this position is recommended last is the fowler's position in patients who are either who have had an mi an attack of mi or who are having a compensated heart problem in such patients what you would do is if you go to into a reverse trendelenburg position or if the patient is suppose having an anginal attack when he is on the rental chair in such patients if you go into a reverse trendelenburg position or a, sorry a trendelenburg position the patient is going to have severe venous return as a result the heart is going to have an extra load of work that it would have to do to pump the blood that is the reason why you put the patient into fowler's position so that there is decreased venous return to the blood as a result of the decreased venous return there is decreased pressure that the blood there is decreased uh, work that the heart has to carry out to pump out the blood and the patient will get some form of relief